Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. I want to go ahead and do an actual special video for me um, real quick, just so you see I have a uh, little bit over two days of growth, so it's quite a bit. Um, before I get started, I want to go ahead and get the pre-shave on before I talk about what we're going to be shaving with today. So, again, my standard Parasa wipe. I actually did order a couple other pre-shaves off of um, the internet. I'm gonna go ahead and try them. Um, I'll show you probably next week when they come in. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take them to get here. But one of them's an Italian pre-shave and one of them's a little more local to the US. All right, just wanna get that pre-shave on there, let it sit in there, get everything softened up a little bit. I did not sh not shower yet today, so I don't have the benefit of a warm shower on my face. Again, Parasa White, my favorite pre-shave that I'm using. And today I actually wanted to use a razor that I got for myself. Actually, my wife kind of got it. I, I ordered it, but my wife said I could for my um, graduation. Um, if you've followed me on Facebook or if you see me on, I'm sure where else or where I posted it. I just finished my PhD program, so I just um, completed my PhD in nursing, so I'm Dr. Nurse Mike now. No one has to call me that, it's okay. But for that, I went ahead and ordered myself a special razor, if you can guess what it is, probably. That would be the Gillette President. So this is, um, I don't remember exactly, it was the Y1, um, 5153, I don't exactly remember. If I, I'll put it in the comments down below when I post this, but that's what I'm using today. Um, as best I can tell, that's probably a rhodium plate. I did not do a lot of research on this. I know I should have, but it looks like a rhodium plate or an ex <laughs> supremely well done nickel plating. Not a single mark on it. Looks really good. Um, twist open. No big deal there. So um, today I'm going to be using the Gillette Platinum. I, think, I don't know if you can see it quite. Yeah, there it goes. There, Gillette Platinum. And it's a first use, as you can tell by the single Sharpie dot. Uh, I put the Sharpie dots on top of my razor blades. So that's going oriented, oriented towards the top. And when I put one dot, it's the first use. And next time I'll put two dots. And that way I know how many uses I have on a razor blade. Some razor blades have the numbers on them. Some people use dice. Dice works fine, but there's no numbers on this blade for me to know which one's going to be pointed up. So I've come up with my own version. I got that locked and loaded in there. And today I already lathered it up, but it's a soap that I won on one of the raffles. I'm not even sure how to say it other than I know it's an almond flavor. Or sorry, almond scent. I wouldn't put a label on it so I knew what it was. But um, Lenny Intenso and all the rest of that's Italian. I really don't know how to say it, so I'm not gonna try. But it's a nice soap. I've used it once already. Um, in the container, it looks like that. And you can see I, I, I shave some of the soap off and put it into a shave bowl. Add a little bit of water with a brush and then I go ahead and just lather that up. I've already done that. Um, just so you look, know what it looks like in the bowl. Um, bowl right there, works really well. Um, really good soap. Nice, nice even scent. It's not super strong, but it's, it's nice. All right, get my face damp real quick. Before I go ahead and apply that soap. All right, now I'm using my Simpsons T2. It's the, my brush of choice, that's the synthetic. Kind of work that in. Not quite a face lather, but I do the face lather portion where I kind of work it into the beard. All right, smooth that out. Yeah, I look for this soap online. I, I don't see it available. 
Uh, I think the Razor Company had one of the scents available, the mentholated one. But in general, this soap currently isn't available, so I don't know if it's out of production or what. But if you can get your hands on it, it's a, it's a nice soap. Um, not sure what the cost originally was, but it works well for me. Um, nice, smooth, rich lather, and doesn't take much work. All right. Gillette President, absolutely gorgeous razor. Not gonna be using this very often, but I will use it now and then. It's no fun to have a razor, no matter how much it's worth, if you're not gonna use it. So I'm cold water shaving. Rinse my razor up under that cold water. I do go to the mirror for my sideburns. I don't clear the runway, so I go ahead and make sure I know exactly where it is using the mirror. All right, 30 degrees, light touch, almost no touch. Just let the razor weight do all that work for me. Not a ton of audio feedback, but I can tell you it is doing a great job. Um, the Gillette Platinum's absolutely my favorite blade so far. I don't have a ton of different blades, but I do have those, and they do a, a really good job for me. I have the Gillette Platinum's, I have the Feathers, I have the RK Stainless Steel, no coating. And then I have the Persona Blue um, Platinum. I have not tried those yet. I actually just got those. But I didn't want to put too many variables into today's shave. Not that I'm reviewing this razor, but I want to know from my personal knowledge just how good the President, ra president razor is. Very, very smooth, very, very mild. You can you can see there's a ton of stuff in that lather, a lot of whiskers in there. Taking it off like a champ. Again, I think this is probably one of those razors I could probably just do two passes with. But we'll see what I do. I'll probably I'll probably go ahead and do three or two in a two in a cleanup. Actually, originally, I was going to use my Lupo. I got the Lupo um, dual comb, so it's an open comb on one side, safety bar on the other. And then I remembered I had this razor, I forgot that I got it last week and I hadn't used it yet. So I'm gonna break it out for today. All right, first pass done. Looks good. Razor's rinsing really well. All right, I do have one little nick there, but that's one of my common spots. I'm not gonna blame the razor on that one. That was me not paying attention, probably talking too much. Definitely need a second pass. Um, did a good job, took knocked everything down, but we're definitely going to need a second pass. Got plenty of soap left in the brush. No problem there. A little bit more water. Yeah, that's better. All right, lathered up and ready for pass number two. Like I said, rinse that blade, rinse that razor under nice cold water, and we'll take it to the face. I think maybe I was trying to go a little too fast. I got that little nick down there. 
Again, not the razor's fault, not the blade's fault, that's me. Not paying close attention to what I was doing. Doesn't, doesn't hurt, doesn't sting, I'm guessing probably just a cold water rinse is going to knock that off. So just out of curiosity, what kind of razors do you have in your den that you only break out once or twice a year? Or even what, what razor do you have that you don't use at all? And why? Just a quick question, pop it in the comments. I'd, I'd be interested to know. Um, if you're watching this far and you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe. I don't have a ton of subscribers, but it's kind of fun. Um, again, like I said I, before, I've said before, I started this for fun. I started doing videos for fun and to kind of break my being camera shy. I'm an educator by role. That's what I do for a living. I'm a nurse educator. So I don't like being in front of camera and I was kind of trying to break that habit or break that issue. Not necessarily it's a habit, but get over the fact of being camera shy. I did, like I said, I finished my PhD in nursing education. So I'd like to kind of get into more teaching online, maybe some research. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do when I grow up. All right. I felt a little bit of stubble on down in here and here and in here. So after I go ahead and I've got a ton of soap left. I mean, I've got tons of soap left in there. Okay, I go ahead and just do a, th a third pass against the grain. And on the against the grain, I like to do, stretch that skin absolutely as much as possible. Just do a real light touch and see what I can get off like that. And rinsing under cold water. Going up for that against the grain. Like I said, super light touch. I know my hair kind of grows down and to the right on this side of my neck. So I kind of approach it straight up and then from the side. On the cheeks, it just kind of goes, grows down. I don't so much stretch my cheeks as much as I could, but it, it hasn't been a problem for me yet. On the left side, it kind of, the hair kind of grows down and actually turns a little bit to the left. Then the bottom turns back to the right. So I kind of got that weird swirl down there. And that's where I kind of, I get that irritation that, and that, um, the nicks I tend to get right down there. And that's been happening since I've been using razors. Even when I used cartridge razors, I had irritation down there. I actually had a lot more irritation with the cartridge razors. And they just never seem to quite get smooth enough. 
they did okay. But for me, it was an enjoyable shave. This double edge razor, I have an enjoyable shave every time I've used one. I've had a couple that are a little more aggressive than I'm ready for. So I'd have to be more careful. But even those, I still get a good shave. I haven't said a lot about this soap just because it's really not available anymore. But if it comes available again, or if there's other soaps out there that are the same brand, the Linea Intenso I think is the line rather than the brand, but it really good soap, um, very slick, rinses easily, but it has enough residual, residual slickness that I'm allowed to do, that can do a little more buffing. It's not a problem at all. All right, that's three passes. See how it feels. Not feeling anything. Looks pretty good. And I cold water rinse. Rinse is definitely taking a little bit longer than normal. All the slickness left over from that soap. All right. Grab my Allen block under the cold water. Even down where I cut myself, only a slight bit. I think that cold water kind of closed up that little bleeder that I had going on. All right, everything looks good. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna close off this shape with. Probably do, since it was almond, I'll probably do my um, Clubman Panades Classic Vanilla. It's one of my favorite ones. All right, go ahead and clean off my razor, clean off all my gear, clean off the sink a little bit. Once this is dried up a little bit, I'll go ahead and rinse the alum off and then I'll apply that Clubman Vanilla. Love that stuff, it's great. Other than that, you don't need to see that. Any questions, pop them up in my comments. Remember to like and subscribe and until next time, have great shaves.